Welcome back, YouTube, to another game. Highlights of SSBL Season 3. We got the Vikings taking on the Knights. Uh, both of these teams in the same conference, uh, both 4-2. and two. Uh, The Knights are ranked first and the Vikings third. Uh, the last time these two teams met was in the wild card round last year. And the Knights got the best of the Vikings. So here we go. Top of the first, two outs. Uh, we're going to get a single for the Vikings. Going to try and keep this inning alive a little bit longer. Warden Campbell stepping up to the plate. Let's see what he does here. He swings and he hits. That ball's going, 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 gone. And we knew it was gone the moment it left the bat. He crushed that out of the park. And the Vikings are going to take an early 2-0 lead in the top of the first. What a great home run. Great home run. We needed that. So here we go. We're going to advance to the top of the second. Wig Macho Man, one of the new signees, he strikes out at the plate. Not a good look. That's actually the second strikeout of the game for the Knights pitcher. And he's going to strike out May Bruce to finish the second inning and his third strikeout this game. So here come the Knights. That ball's crushed center field. It's going back at the wall. Tried to rob it, but just not uh, just not tall enough. Couldn't jump high enough. That ball creeps over the center field wall. Two to one, Vikings over top of the Knights in this conference rivalry game. So here come the Vikings coming back. You get out number two, out number three with the double play to end the second. That's what we like to see. Let's jump ahead to the bottom of the third. And this right here, that air is going to lead to a single, and things begin to fall apart. For the Vikings. Vikings have a 2-1 lead. An air has a man on first. Another good hit by the Knights. Knights now have a man on first and second with one out. Batter up. And another base hit. It's going to be a single. Base is now loaded for the Knights who are down 2-1 with only one out. And another base hit. I told you things begin to fall apart for the Vikings here. And one run's going to score and tie this thing up 2-2. Two to two, Still one out. Base is loaded. It's not looking good. Vaughn Crumbs in the game. He hits the ball, but what a save by the shortstop. And a run's still going to score, but he prevents two, possibly even a third, coming in with a hit like that. And the Vikings are going to somehow escape with only giving up two runs in the bottom of the third there. And uh, here we go to the top of the fourth. Vikings now down two to three after an error caused that whole thing to take off. And here's Warden Campbell. Does he do it? He jacks it over the right field wall for his second home run of the game. No way. That is two home runs. That is two at bats, two home runs, four RBIs for Warden Campbell. Go ahead and give him MVP of the game. Go ahead and do it. So here we go. Bottom of the fourth. Vikings up four to three. Liv Polbean looking for her first strikeout. Can she get a one ball, two strikes, and she does. Strikeout number one for Liv Polbean. And here come the Knights, bottom of the fifth. This ball is crushed. That is out of the park. Get that thing out of here. That's out in the street. Watch out, cars. I believe that was Mae Bruce. And she's going to extend this lead to six to three vikings over the knights or sorry five to three vikings over the knights and here we go they're going for the double play not quite good enough so the vikings will just get one out and uh the knights still have still in the bottom of the fifth but strike out there and we're just going to end the inning and let's advance to the top of the sixth and uh, we're going to see uh, we're going to see the Vikings get a walk and a free base man on first and second. No outs and an error and a second error. Uh, they somehow still get the batter out at first, but the runners advance to second and third. Here is Wig Mach Macho Man. He's one for two with a single. He's got a man on second and third. Can he make something happen? He does. He's got one run coming in. The other batter, he decides to round third and he's coming home. He's out. I don't know why they decided to round, uh, bring both of them, but they scored one, got the other one out, and uh, we're going to now advance to the bottom of the six. That batter is an earth, sorry. Yeah, bottom of the six, that batter just walked. The only eventful event happening in the bottom of the six, so let's advance ahead to the top of the seven, and that's another strikeout. I believe that's strikeout number five for the Knights. 
And this pitcher, Franks, he's on fire. Five strikeouts, top of the seventh, two outs. Boom, strikeout number six on the day for Franks. This man is unstoppable. So here's Liv Polbean. She's trying to hang on to this 6-3 lead for the Vikings. She's got a man on first and one out, and that's going to be her third strikeout of the game. She says, hey, Franks, I got some strikeouts of my own. So Vikings don't do anything in the top of the first. They got a 6-3 lead. Here we go, bottom of the ninth. One ball, and this one is lifted up in the right field. Does it have the distance? It does. And the right fielder jumps like he's going to try and rob it. And that ball just gets over the wall, 334 foot home run. It's now a 6-4 ball game, and the pitcher is up. I wouldn't be surprised, yep. I was gonna say, I wouldn't be surprised if we see the pitcher get subbed out here. They're gonna try and bring in a big hitter. And let's see what happens. He's gonna dribble this over to the shortstop with an easy out, routine out to the first baseman. Liv Polbean still in the game. Here we go. Here we go. They're bringing in Cal Cooley, the closer. He's a pretty clutch guy. Already got a couple saves on the season. Uh, so the Vikings go ahead and bring him in. And uh-oh, this one gets hit to the gap. He's rounding second. Rounding second. He could round third. He's going for third. Vikings trying to get it in. I don't know. It's taking so long. And the Knights get a triple. There's one out and a man on third. And they're only down two. Can they get it done? Can they steal it in? Things aren't looking good for the Vikings. And a run is scored. It is now 6-5 to five with a man on first. Here comes Ding Dong at the plate. He's 1-4 for four today, a single and an RBI. But he's got a man on first. Does he have the clutch gene in him? Cal Cooley has it in him. But uh, let's see if he can get the save. And what a catch. Nice snag by the second baseman, Wig Macho Man. He was a, uh, a signee in the offseason before this uh, third season happened. And that's an easy out for out number three. That's the game. Vikings take the dub. And there you have it, folks. With your conference rivalry game, the Vikings and the Knights. Vikings advance to 5-2, and two, while the Knights fall to 4-3 and three in a very close game. 6-5. to five. Look at that. 13 hits by the Knights. 13 hits. And I believe their pitcher had, I think he had six or seven strikeouts. A uh, pretty good game. So that's it. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. Like the video. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more content. Peace.